what's going on guys winter is officially here it's like 30 degrees here it's early december everything's cold so today i'm going to be showing you how we're going to store some of our fake cuttings for the um future season in the spring to propagate them and grow pretty much clone trees so here is our fig tree in our container here and you notice right here i have cut and right here i've cut so one thing you want to make sure is that you have about six to eight inches of a cutting you can do smaller cuttings but i find that six to eight inches store the most energy in the wood and have the best success of propagating them. And again, you wanna make sure that you make these cuts on kind of an angle here, 45 degree angle, just so any water doesn't sit in here. So I'm gonna go show you the um, cuttings, what we're gonna to do to them and how we're gonna store them. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so we're in my garage and here's one of my cuttings. Now I have two more over here which are already finished. We have a peach tree, you think it's a peach? Yeah, it says peach on there. And then we have another um, different type of fig. It's our Violet de Bordeaux fig. Um, here is our one cutting from the Chicago Hardy fig. Now, as you can see, this cutting is pretty big. It's about six to eight inches long again. And there's a ton of different nodes here. If this will zoom in there, you see that node right there, node right there, node right there. That means it's all gonna be new growth when we propagate this. So that's good to have. So what you could do is you could just take that bottom part, stick it right in water with some rooting hormone or right into um, moist soil and have this propagate it and have it grow roots and turn into a whole new tree. But since it's freezing outside, it will die outside. So we're gonna need to store these. So the first thing I have done to this is I've taken one very small drop, like just like you can use a dropper of bleach into four ounces of water and I've sprayed this. The reason I spray this with bleach is just because it kills any bacteria on here. I've washed this off really well and it doesn't allow for any mold to grow on this. So you want to make sure you don't use too much bleach. It will damage it just a little bit. So yeah. So your next step, you want these to dry out. I left mine on my counter with a paper towel just to wick out any moisture for about six to eight hours. You want there to be a little bit of moisture, but not too much. So there's still some moisture in here. It's still fine, but this cutting is dried and it's ready to be wrapped. Now, the reason I wrap it is to allow any excess moisture to stay in there, but also not to let any moisture get into this in the fridge. Now, I store it in the fridge because I want to replicate the winter things. You can also leave it outside, but it might get damaged by winds and stuff. So here you have your press and seal or your cling wrap or your plastic wrap, and you're just going to insert your cutting, and you're just going to wrap it tight. Now, I'm going to wrap this. I'm just going to keep wrapping this around it tightly and show you what it's wrapped. It's nice and tight. Um, and it's ready to be stored. So what I like to do is also is here I have my other fig tree, I have my peach cutting, and I have an apple one I'm working on right now. I just like to seal this in a, in a Ziploc bag, press all the air out, and put it in the Alrighty guys, so we got everything in the baggie here, and we're gonna put them in the fridge in our garage, just because we don't want my parents getting angry with me. So, we're here in the fridge, and I'm gonna put it in the uh, like little food preserver bin right here. Just stick them in there, and that'll stay there for um, a good while. I mean, probably up until May when the weather gets warmer. And then once that's done, this is how you're gonna store them for the winter time. Um, once May comes around, I'm gonna let them go back outside, put them into the sun, into some warmth. Uh, may keep them moist in soil, some rooting hormone. They should root and you'll get a whole clone of your exact tree that you have from outside. You can do this with apples, with peaches, with pears. I have an apple and a peach one. I'm also in that bag. So it works for most fruit trees. So this is how you're going to store fruit tree cuttings. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always uh, answering. And um, yeah, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, keep on growing, guys. See you soon. Hey.